And there's eye bolts that the previous owner has installed along every rafter. And you can tell there that's what she'd use to tie stuff down with. And same thing over on this side. First order of business is to get rid of this shelf unit. It's pretty wobbly. It's just some homemade job that's been screwed together with drywall screws and haphazardly bolted to the floor. First, we'll get a little work light built in here. So here's what I've accomplished so far is I've dismantled the shelving unit and I've pulled up the base unit to the shelving unit. And somebody went to a lot of trouble to install this whole mess. There's three two by twos that have been screwed to the floor and they've been screwed down to about 16 to 18 inch intervals. There's a look at what I've removed so far, probably 150 screws and a dozen or so L brackets. So I've got a lot more screws to remove yet to pull those 2 by 2s up off of the floor. I've gotten all of the shelving unit and the little table pulled out. Vacuumed up the floor and then I also took some Kills brand uh, stain blocking primer and applied to some areas on the floor as well as the door where there's uh, some water stains. I've had really good luck with that product uh, blocking water stains. And once the back of the floor entirely dries out it's still a little bit damp right there. I'll sand down some of the flooring, try to smooth it out and then apply some more of that um, primer back here, but some pretty deep wear marks where some equipment has been hauled. And then a lot of wear here from traffic going in and out of the trailer, loading product and displays. I also will apply some of that primer in some areas on the door. There's a little spot down there in the corner too. I've got my first coat of interior wall paint applied. I'll let this dry for a few hours and come back out and check on it and see how it's doing as far as dryness and ready for another coat or not. I still have some more sanding that I want to do to the floor. I'll finish that up in the next few days. Several days have gone by since I last uh, showed you the inside, but uh, those black spots there, those are tie downs in the floor. Probably what I'll do at some point is uh, paint those black inside and then take a scraper and remove the, the paint from around the flange. But there's eight of those in the floor. Actually, there no, there's nine. I put some stain blocking primer on the floor because it was it had gotten wet and kind of had some water stains in it. 
if you don't put some sort of stain blocker then those water stains will show through just about any paint that you try to apply. After two coats of uh, the stain block primer then I painted the floor with some exterior latex paint which is some paint I had left over from a previous trailer project that I did and then the interior walls same thing I had some interior latex paint it's uh, semi-gloss there were a few water stains that I had to cover up with some primer I mentioned that earlier the back doors I can still see some spots where the water stains are showing through there's a little bit of a beige hue right in through here this one is in a little bit better shape 